I'm going to leave some footage in here because I'm just pissed. I'm just really pissed. Like, I'm talking and I have to push. I'm pushing. I'm sorry. So you can just skip this because this is a journey that people, these things people won't understand. They would think something is going on. And if I have to be a little TMI, I mean, it's natural. Everybody boo-boos, right? Even babies boo-boo. So get, get over yourself. Um, Just go past this. That's it. Be right back. All right. This is day 11. And I'm noticing after I do the video, I usually get darker. And I would say it's on the dark side again today. Like the strip, like I'm not letting it wait long enough. But yeah, it's definitely not that. So I would consider it the darkest one. And this is the morning of day 11. All right, y'all. Today is day 11, and this is the morning of day 11. I already did this, so I'm getting ready to do an Epsom Salt Flush. Haven't done one since I did this, and I'm only doing this because um, my body is doing all this sharpening, and obviously there may be some remnants stuck in my intestine, and I feel like this will push it out. So my husband said, maybe you need to do another one of these since you keep having them little episodes and push out whatever's in there. So, let me do this. All right, y'all. They say warm water, and it's only supposed to be four ounces. I don't play about nothing more than four ounces because the more water you put, the more of this nasty flavor you're stretching to try to drink. I don't get when people say, oh, I do eight ounces to stretch the, stretch the flavor. I'd rather do four ounces, and then I'm measuring it. I ain't playing, y'all, of nastiness, right? Guzzle that down and then drink something good for the next four to eight more ounces on top of that. That's what i rather do. Oh, oh, your girl is good. That four is on point. That four is on point. All right. So I'm going to warm this up in the microwave real quick and then put my four, um, four to six teaspoons of Epsom salt. I just go ahead and put six and rock that out. Give me the whole, give me all of it. Give me all of it. So <laughs> let me put this in here. And um, heat that up real quick, and I'll be back. I'm only doing 18 seconds. Just just warm. It don't need to be hot. Now, yeah, like I showed you, four to eight ounces of warm water, and then you put four to six um, teaspoons of this stuff here, which actually is two tablespoons if you want to not be doing all those teaspoons. So, yeah. Ugh, teaspoons just seem so big, don't it? Seem like a lot. And this helps flush you, especially if you're constipated or feel like feel like you're real lethargic. A lot of times you can be lethargic from stuff sitting in your intestines. And it will make your whole system just move slow. So, I will be doing a video on just the Epsom salt flush. But for those who watch the vlogs, we'll get this in the vlog. And this is magnesium sulfate from Walmart. I haven't had this for a while. And make sure it says on here, soaking aid for minor sprains and burns and laxative. Make sure it says laxative. Make sure it has no fragrance because if it has fragrance, it is not going to be what you need. Okay? Let me guzzle this down because it's just disgusting. All right, buddy. Something for y'all. If you do the Epsom Salt Flush, even though I chased it down with some lemonade, it still had that taste in my mouth. I put some pink Himalayan salt, licked my hand, scrunched it on there, and licked it off, and swished that around, swished that around. I read my mouth taste salty, didn't like that crushed aspirins. So, if you do pink Himalayan salt or some type of flush that don't taste good, try putting some pink, not not white salt, pink Himalayan salt. I got this from um, Sam's in your mouth and swish it around. The taste is gone. It's not even in my mouth, and it usually lasts a while when I don't. So, bam! Now I got my thing. Pink Himalayan salt, even though it's still disgusting. Try to take it out. <sighs> Goodbye. I'm really using the bathroom, and um, listen. <laughs> Sorry if you hear the dog barking. Well, my neighbor's dog barking. Listen. <laughs> Where? What? How? I am not eating nothing, right? 
this just goes to show how even if you think you're regular, even if you using the bathroom consistently, and if I have during I'm talking and I have to push, I'm pushing. I'm sorry. So you can just skip this because this is a journey that people these things people won't understand. They would think something is going on. And if I have to be a little TMI, I mean, it's natural. Everybody boo-boos, right? Even babies boo-boos. So get get over yourself. Um, Just go past this part. But when my husband's like, flush yourself, I'm like, for what? Like, there's nothing in there. I think whatever's coming out, it's coming out when it does the shirt and things or whatever. Yeah. I'm editing. And I was hoping to get the vlog out early, even though I said it on Saturdays and Sundays it won't be. I keep having to come to the bathroom and the first time I came and I'm drinking my little lemon stuff I drank a big guzzle and I felt it go, like it was pushing stuff down I want to use the bathroom I'm thinking it's gonna be some liquid yeah it wasn't solid or hard or nothing but it was smooth so I still got boo boo up in there okay like legit still in there <laughs> flush and I keep like I'm waiting I'm sorry but when I feel something I just push and it just keep coming keep coming like my stomach is feeling so much lighter it's crazy I wouldn't think nothing would be in there like what is in there there's nothing in there because I'm not eating that's not true flush the Epsom salt flush is no joke it's getting everything all the things out I may do it again um, in about three days I'll probably do it one more time and then I'm going to probably try to stay real consistent with doing the flushes um, when I return to eating food. Which, y'all, I'm kind of scared of um, going back into transitioning to eating food because I don't know. I'm like, oh, I'm going to do a broth. And I'm going to do a broth with a little bit of spinach in it. And I'm like, no, I'm just going to do a broth. I'm just going to do a broth. And I'm going to go from broths to like, maybe like, excuse me, y'all. Uh, Maybe like yogurt or whatever the case may be. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think of how I want to transition. But, yeah. I don't know. I just, I'm ready to eat some good broth. I was thinking to go to the Chinese food store and get it. But then I'm like, no, make your own broth. Make your own broth. I don't know. What do y'all think would be really good? Like a good flavorful broth. Like who has a good flavorful broth? Should I go to the Chinese store? Should I make my own? Is there something in the store? Um, that's like a good flavor for broth. Um, let me know. Cause I'm going to do broth. I don't even know. See, that's the thing. I know I have to do broths and then slowly take the consistency of texture up slowly to my stomach. So I won't be sick or eat or don't jump into nothing greasy like pastas or I mean fried chicken or anything like that. I know that, but I'm just, um, trying to figure out, is it like you do it for a day? And then that's what I did in research. I know you got to go slowly into the, the texture, but I need to research how long do I do the broth? Is it for one day, then do the broth again, and then go into something else? I don't know. If y'all know, leave the comments below. But I'll probably, before y'all see this video, I probably did some research. But I still want to get y'all suggestions as well so I can have options. So let me finish using the bathroom. I know. Excuse me. Bye-bye. Sit in the house. We are getting ready to go to the park and walk around as much as I can. If I feel like it's too much, we're coming home. So I am excited white right? because this came just before my waist trainer let's see if I can put it on I tried to go size a smaller so let's see if I can put it on and how it looks so I'm about to open this up I'm kind of doing this backwards but you will still see me without it on I got this in a size XL um yeah I think this is an XL if I'm not mistaken pause the video and yeah it is tight, tighter than I wanted it, but I'm losing weight so fast that I can't afford to buy one that's just barely there. And I am, my daughter had to help me. I am, let me show you. I do have space to see it move and to see it tighten up. Lord, okay, this hook, there's a hook up top. Y'all remember, y'all remember the, I'm on the first one. I still got two more notches over. I can't get this hook off. I I can't get the hook off. I'm getting ready to go walking. I'm going to see how it feels, how I figure. Okay, I'm turning around to show y'all what I look like. And it is going to be a little uncomfortable. Why? Because it's new to me. 
and I gotta kind of stretch it out. They say after you wear it one time, it kind of stretches out a little bit. So we shall see. I don't know how it's gonna feel when I need to work out in it, but this is the beginning of me trying to get this waist together because this has got to go. It's got to go. So I will leave at the end how it's been working out for me. All right. Work with my family. And I'm going to try to go around. I think it's like three. Bay, how many miles it is? How many miles this is again? Ain't it like three going around one time? Or no? Mile and a half? Mile and a half. Mile and a half. I'm only going to try to go around one time. I'm not trying to overdo it. I just need to get out the house. It's kind of chilly, so I'm glad I got my jacket. Um, so, yeah. I'm getting ready to walk. Got my soca in my ear. And so I'm about to put this phone up. All right, y'all women we need to do better there's no reason why when someone says hello ladies and that's just me i told y'all see me y'all heard me say this before if i see a group of women and one of the ladies look over at me and give me eye contact i'm like i said hello ladies how are you doing how's your day that's just me i just said that to some other lady because been you know sporadic pots i mean spots of women sitting with their kids around the grass or whatever and so these two ladies was back here and while I'm um, walking, I see them look. I'm like, hey, ladies. And the one was looking like, I'm like, that's the what's problem with this world today. It was the problem. I can't even talk right. That's the problem with this world today. People are just so negative and like someone saying hello to you. I don't want your body. I don't want you. I'm just saying hello. Like, I'm not going to kill you. Like, you see, I'm out here walking. Like, I don't get people. All right, y'all. I found out, and I knew this last year, but we ain't been here since, since last year, um, that this is one point, the cops said like a little less than two miles when you go all the way around. So nice, so silly, and it got chilly, y'all. So like 1.9, he said, somewhere around in there. So I'm proud of myself because the car is coming up, and we did it. We did it. This way, Cincher, that's what I get for being grown, but I know I'm losing weight. That's what I get for being grown. I got two sizes smaller because I didn't want to have to buy another one. And the front is fine. Oh, but the back. Oh, but the back. It is poking me in my size. Not cool. So I know like when I lose a couple more pounds, it'll be a little bit more comfortable. But I'm going to show you a picture what it looks like with, under the shirt, how you can't tell, and then show you what it'll like with the shirt off. I mean, with the um, waist center off with the shirt so you can see how it cinches me in. So, we're almost to the car. So, I will talk to you guys later. This is it on. I just walked almost a little less than two miles, and it didn't move. It didn't budge. But the problem I'm having is the poking in, just like this right here. And that's my fault because not really a fault. I did that on purpose because, like I said, I wasn't trying to buy another one of these soon. I just wanted you to see how it looks under your clothes. It's really smooth. You don't see all that ribbed this like from those other ones and you can like get away with wearing this under your clothes so i wanted you guys to see that but yeah i'm going to take it off and show you the difference with this on and then without um make sure you take a picture so i can have that as a thumbnail all right right now yeah and then i'm gonna go to the side oh no go ahead you got one mm -hmm. okay all right guys so i'm about to say this is me without the thing on and what my stomach is looking like so yeah it's a difference a big difference it does send you and all that good stuff um i i think i think it's a good buy for 17.99 it really is a good buy it is made very well i don't see no loose strings or anything like that so yeah guys and this is me with my shirt down without the thing on i don't need pictures i'm just showing them so that's it. All right, guys. I'm going to relax. I'm about to take a shower and relax for the rest of the day. This is the time where I weigh in for my day 11 result. I'm so pissed right now. I'm going to leave some footage in here because I'm just pissed. I'm just really pissed. Like... My scale is much tired of me getting on it every morning or something and even when i get on it i have to get on it a couple times to verify that i like to see the weight come in two times to verify that it's correct this thing done took me back in the 260s and then dropped me to 250 it went to 262 
drop down to 248, drop down to 243, uh, drop, go back up to 258. Like, it's do doing stupid, like, and let's be honest, I don't care what nobody say, that scale means a lot, and it can be frustrating if you don't see that weight drop. Let's be honest, let's, let's stop all, oh, it's not all about the scale, no, it's not. It's not all about the scale, but that scale means a lot when you want to see your progress. So I'm pissed. I have flushed yesterday and I, well, I flushed today, but you get what I'm saying? For this day, I flushed on the 11th day of this journey. I flushed. Y'all know I weigh in the next morning, which will be today is day 12, but you guys are seeing day 11's day. Um, I flushed when I say it was so much, I didn't even realize that was inside of me and I walked almost two miles and I'm still not eating anything. There's no freaking way that the scale is going up. There's no way I'm frustrated. I'm being honest with y'all. Like I'm not about to sit here and sugarcoat it. I'm pissed off. So now the scale keep reading error, 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 error. I'm like, Oh my gosh, I'm trying to get this video up and out so I can lay back down. Like I really don't have time for this. I really don't freaking have time for this. So my husband headed out to Walmart. This is what I do to stay consistent for y'all. This is what us YouTubers do to share our journeys. Cause I could say F it, who cares? I'm gonna lay back down. I know, I know I, I can't cheat nobody but myself. I know what I did. I know I'm doing right and whatever. I don't even feel like doing a vlog. Like that's how I feel. <sighs> I'm so pissed right now because now I have to wait for him to go to the store I'm going to try to get this footage on the computer. Wait for him to go to the store. Come back. Record it. I'm just so pissed right now. It's just messing up my whole morning. I'm trying to get this out the way. Because this editing is a lot. When I have to take all the pieces of my day to put them As together. As I'm editing, I am waiting for my husband to get a new scale. Look at what this scale was doing. Up and down. Up and down. And I was 247 yesterday. I could not get a consistent reading to come up at least twice. That's when I feel it's a real consistent reading. I wanted to throw this damn scale. Like, I'm so frustrated right now. This thing better move when a new one comes. This is the one he got from Walmart. It was 1998. I'm about to open it up and see if it is my friend. <laughs> Go, it keeps on 244. What is it? 244.2, you said? Or, yeah. yeah. 244.6, then it, 247. Like, come on now. There's no way. Now I went to 243.2. Do you see what? Oh my gosh. I give up on both of these scales. I don't care. I am pissed. Like, I am absolutely pissed. Like, this new scale is ridiculously. It's, it's, it don't went up to 250 something. There's absolutely no way. And if that is the case, I don't need to be doing this. I'm sorry. I'm doing this for a reason. I need to see something on the scale for my mental to keep pushing. I would just go back to normal life, being moderate and exercising because I'm so pissed right now. Like I'm so freaking pissed right now. And you're not supposed to change scales because all scales weigh you different. So if you stay consistent with one, you will know kind of where you're at. That's why I'm pissed that I had to go get another scale. As y'all see that mini clip, that little thing went to 252 or 251. I was 247. Like, there's no way that I gained th three pounds. And I did way more yesterday than I have the last week of resting when I haven't been doing nothing. Working out as far as doing that almost two miles and flushing myself and getting all that crap out of me that I seen released. 
There is no way. Sorry, y'all. Uh, sorry, but this is the truth. It ain't always happy. It ain't always happy. Go lucky. I'm sharing everything with y'all because y'all might go through this too. I'm frustrated right now. I'm frustrated and I know I'm angry. So I'm, I'm talking through my emotions. I will let y'all know what I decide to do. I'm not a person to just give up, but I do have a date on my calendar that's been marked on my calendar and my family can prove it that I, I choose to go to that certain point with this water fast. But it's frustrating when you're doing something, especially the taste that's in my mouth, the feelings that I get, how lethargic I am and all that. And then not to see the scale move. That's pissing me completely off. It's pissing me completely off right now. All right, y'all.